Hi, I'm Rachel, and this is my Author's Answer video for March 2023. The Author's Answer series was started by author tuber J.D. Archer and his uh, online uh, writing group. Uh, they were active on his blog uh, for a long, long time, and I will link to his blog and his author tube uh, page down below. I have uh, been answering uh, these questions that they asked themselves sequentially, one per month, for the last several years. And I have my own author tube uh, playlist to link down below as well. And it's been a really fun variety of reading and writing related questions, and then sometimes something more off the beaten path. Like, for example, last year uh, at this time, uh, I basically uh, made a video which was all about my celebration of Purim <laughs> because it coincided more or less with uh, the question I was on that uh, the uh, group was asking themselves, I think about uh, the New Year's holiday, but mine happened to come along in March for me. Uh, and here I am again uh, the next March. I've just returned from uh, the next, uh, this year's uh, Purim celebration, which is a festive carnivalesque uh, Jewish holiday uh, involving um, uh, storytelling and uh, costumes, and uh, I am wearing a costume of sorts, which is also very author tube uh, friendly. Uh, I'm wearing my shirt, which means uh, says you are very close to being killed in my novel, so I figured I would share that. <clears throat> but uh, this month's question, the one I'm on this month, is question number 72, and it's much more of a conventional writing question than uh, the one I was answering last year at this time. Uh, question 72 is asking us about uh, our daily writing stats, if we have uh, writing goals in, in terms of daily word counts or, or weekly targets uh, that we would like to meet. Uh, and my uh, answer is a little uh, loosey-goosey in a way. Uh, the major uh, commitment I try to make to my fiction writing, at least, is um, I attend the DC Writer Salon uh, finishers group sessions. Uh, the DC Writer Salon is a wonderful organization I belong to. It has uh, several uh, writing sessions throughout the, the week, each week, and we meet in our salon downtown in DuPont Circle. Uh, and uh, so I go twice a week uh, and uh, commit myself, usually, to uh, writing my fiction projects. Uh, so, so that's the major way that uh, I'm active on a weekly basis uh, for writing. I attempt sometimes to make it a little more often. I had a week a few uh, weeks ago where I was uh, writing a little bit in the morning before work. I have trouble, I think, sticking to that schedule. Uh, uh, I have other things, uh, uh, writing things that I do uh, throughout the week after work uh, for my blogging and so forth. Uh, uh, and uh, I just, uh, <laughs> I guess uh, the, the, the ritualistic schedules aren't as much of uh, my strong suit as I might hope they might be. <laughs> uh, and uh, when it comes to deadlines, sometimes I find myself cramming at the end uh, before a submission is due. That, in fact, happened to me last week as well for a short story submission. Uh, so, other than uh, National Novel Writing Month, where uh, the goal is to write 50,000 words in one month, uh, I'm a lot more uh, regimented then with uh, meeting uh, very uh, stiff uh, word count goals uh, per day and per week. But usually speaking, uh, I am not all that consistent <laughs> with my writing, except during uh, the Writer's Salon. Uh, I do have a... Um, document that I make uh, month per month where I track a, a lot of my writing, although it tends not to be my uh, fiction writing, which I track elsewhere. Uh, but for my blog posts and book reviews and things like that, I track it in this uh, monthly Word document and I see how much uh, less I write per month uh, than the 50,000 I write for NaNoWriMo. But uh, yeah, th that's where I am with it. Uh, speaking of my writer salon, we just had a off-the-cuff conversation at one of my last uh, sessions uh, where uh, we've been meeting in these affinity groups of uh, genre-specific writers. Uh, I'm involved uh, so far with a short story writers group. Uh, and then we they also had a memoir and essay writers uh, group that met uh, and apparently uh, the memoir and essay writers were talking about how they don't keep themselves, uh, you know, strictly aligned with these sorts of writing goals, like word count goals that uh, 
are so popular, I think, when it comes to the fiction writers. And that kind of surprised me uh, that the, the, the essayists and memoirists wouldn't be in the same camp because it's kind of a similar project, you know, writing an essay or a memoir. And we're all just a bunch of, you know, uh, random local writers. We're not speaking for any, like, you know, uh, official community other than ourselves. But I thought that was uh, interesting, uh, the uh, uh, disparity between, uh, I guess, uh, all of the fiction writers so far, at least, have uh, been more uh, concerned with word counts, but uh, maybe <laughs> maybe some of them are more like me, that we're concerned, but <laughs> not always uh, doing enough to be regimented. Uh, so uh, it's something I have to think about, like maybe I would, I would like to step up my game a little bit. Uh, but uh, for the time being, I definitely write, but, uh, you know, not as regimented with, you know, hitting specific word counts usually uh, per day or week, <laughs> that sort of thing. So yeah, uh, that about covers it for me now. Uh, and uh, I guess I will also link to the DC Writer Salon down below in case you'd like to learn more. Uh, I will be back on this channel in the next couple of days to do my first AM reading video of the month, uh, probably on a Saturday morning, so stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Keep writing, and I'll see you next time.